Hi, this is Kim Pinkney, and thank you for checking out my channel. Uh, in my last video with my cat boy, I mentioned that I was going to show you my color swatch. And what I recommend is uh, get a sacrificial uh, t-shirt or whatever fabric that you're usually going to, that you're going to use. And uh, since these uh, Marvy graffiti pins, Marvy uh, fabric markers, uh, they, uh, and here's the uh, Marvy Uchida. Um, since they don't have numbers or labels on them, I had to create my own. So uh, they've got all this information, but none of it talks about what kind of pen it is, other than you having to assume what the tip is and how it's going to look on your thing, um, on your fabric. So um, this is number seven. This is six uh, right here. So I just corresponded to this, and I'll have to relabel all my new markers. So uh, the ones that I usually use the most is uh, one and three as far as skin tones and this is going to be pretty much about skin tones um, when I first got this I was kind of I wasn't happy with the way that these came out on on the fabric uh, four looks like it would be a nice one but I, these guys blend pretty well so I would recommend uh, using different color combinations and what I mean by that is uh, test them out play with them um, I've created different circles once I got my numbers down I created different circles in the ways that I would probably put them on a face or on um, in an image and what I did is I labeled uh, from beginning to end how I would how I would layer them like right here for number seven I use this one a lot for uh, darker skin tones um, and they come out really well. Uh, here's this one right here. So what I would do is I'd start out with the number seven and then go over it with the number one until I get to my lightest. And this is how it dries. And again, uh, you're searching for the best color combination, 10 and seven for really dark skinned folks or folks in shadow, but mostly for uh, that sort of combination. I would start out with the 10, that's the black. And then I go over it with the number seven. All right. And then if you wanted lighter colors, you'd end up with these. Now these are really muddy. I was kind of frustrated at the beginning. Here's here's where they would look like. Here's a, like a number one by itself, number one completely full. And I was rushing when I was doing this. I wasn't really taking my time on it. Um, let's see. So what I decided to do is uh, take all the markers that I have and just redo it over again. And also, here's what it would look like if you were mixing some of the others. Um, uh, the number one and two, trying to blend them together. And I wasn't very successful in achieving the skin tones that I wanted. So, what I ended up doing is uh, just like I did, like I'm, like I'm telling you, try different color combinations. The ones that I found worked the best was doing a uh, a yellow, like the number two, combined with the number three or number one, and that brought it out more. And that's what you see in most of my my drawings are uh, a combination of me going over it with yellow and then going back over it with like the the number one. So this morning, I'm going to show you how I would uh, try to work out some color combinations uh, with the, the markers that I have. Um, one of the markers that I have uh, is color time. And I'm going to, one of my, my biggest challenges is how do you lighten this? And uh, the other markers that I have are uh, the fabric color, Zig fabric color. And uh, again, with the graffiti, and this is the number one that I usually use. And um, tulip fabric markers. Tulip is really good for blending, especially if you have, you can, you can create a watercolor. And I sent a link in my uh, Catboy video how people could use these kind of like watercolors on fabric. Uh, 